Hi there, it's Lindsay here. We just got back from Sam's Club. I have a haul for you today for my family of four. We're trying to buy for the month. We did just get a new freezer. It's huge, it fits a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things that I wanted to try freezing so we didn't have to go by the store. This will be an entire month's worth of food for us. Um, except for, I'll probably have an 80 to $100 bill at Kroger and I may have to go back mid-month for fresh things maybe but I, I've noticed that things last a lot longer than I think they're going to and with my winter cooking you know it's not so bad but I'm going to take you through and show you what I've got and what I have planned for it maybe it'll give you some dinner ideas I planned out an entire month's worth of food so I'm just going to take you through and show you what I've got my entire kitchen is loaded down with things so we can just go, we'll go over here first. We picked up this tropical trail mix. This is just for a snack. This will go in our snack dinner that we will have once every two weeks. We'll have a snack dinner. That's kind of a favorite around here. So if a dinner gets replaced with snack dinner, that's totally okay with us too. Uh, usually for snack dinner, I'll make popcorn. We'll have some uh, meats that we've had in the fridge like pepperonis or we also have like beef summer sausage things like that I got these for our snack dinner as well crispy sea salt baked crackers and we can also have these for snack but they looked really good and I wanted to try these out so I'll let you know how they go Jay will probably open them in like two seconds and try them so um I also grabbed some corn tortillas. We're gonna make some tortilla chips out of this. We also like our uh, taco shells out of this. Um, so we'll just put those. I got an air fryer for Christmas. So we'll put the taco shells in the air fryer and see how those do. We're gonna make some chips like that as well. But I've been having a hankering for cheese dip. Jay gets it every once in a while too. So we're gonna try making our own chips in the air fryer. And I think they're gonna be really good, but we'll see. So once every two weeks, we're gonna have some flat bread. So I got this non bread and he's going to smoke us some chicken. So the smoked chicken will go on here or um, you know, smoked pork shoulder, or something like that. We'll do little flat breads with whatever smoked meat Jay does that week. So I think these are gonna do okay in the freezer. Every time I've ever frozen bread, it's done okay. Hey, can you try these crackers? I know you're, it's you're itching sampling to open time. them. This is his sampling time. He's already over there opening stuff before I even get to it. Yeah. We'll see how they I go. had to race Ollie back to the house. Awesome. Baked cracker. Just eat it. Mm. Oh my God. Ollie likes it. I want to eat a piece. Are they good? Mm -hmm. Guess I'll try it. Good cracker. They taste really good. They have a good flavor, but they're harder than a normal cracker. But they're really good. Well, they're like a crisp. More like a chip, but they're good. We got some chips to have with sandwiches and peanut butter sandwiches and pinwheels and our lunch stuff. They like a really good variety. We did get some things for the freezer that are not on my meal plan but I'll be going out of town so I wanted them to have some foods that were easy and it's nice to have this kind of stuff in the freezer for when I get migraines and stuff like that so we got some pizzas something Jay can cook something Jay can cook uh let's see here I found these mixing bowls I've been needing mixing bowls pretty bad I've lost my bigger ones so I grabbed these and they were on sale for 20 bucks so 10 piece and they've got it's five mixing bowls well, with I lids. Grab them. Jay grabbed them. I was tired of yeah. hearing you grab. I'm kick your butt. But uh, we got Dr. Peppers. Jay's been liking to have these with lunch just to give him a little boost. So sometimes he has those. So we grab some of those. I'm all out of spaghetti noodles, and we're gonna have spaghetti at least once. So obviously this will last us a lot longer because we only have spaghetti once a month. So. This will last us a lot longer, but it was only $4 for this big box of spaghetti. So we get like two free, basically. We were completely out of potatoes, so I grabbed some russets. We got some Velveeta for our cheese dip that we're going to have. And sometimes we'll do grilled cheese with this. Sometimes we use other cheese, but 
yeah, we use that every once in a while. Um, we got little squeezer apple sauces. Ollie eats these a lot better when they're in the hand squeezers. So we grabbed those for him because he'll eat them better like that instead of having to dip something out. He's not going to do that. So that's a good snack for him. I know that shredded cheddar freezes really well. So I'll probably use one for making breakfast burritos. That'll be one of my meal preps. And then I'll freeze the other to use for another time. And my egg cups. They'll go good in my egg cups too. We found some smoked Gouda. This is delicious with mac and cheese and um, bacon. Oh, it's so good. So I'll be making mac and cheese and that'll be a side for our smoked chicken or smoked barbecue pork shoulder. I grabbed some cream cheese for when we have bagels. I've never tried to freeze cream cheese, but I mean, it lasts a long time in the fridge. So not really sure what I'll end up doing with that. We'll see. I grabbed some Colby Jack. That usually lasts us a month, sometimes longer. So I grabbed that. That's for tacos and quesadillas and stuff like that. I grabbed some more of these crescent rolls because we're going to have some pig in a blanket and we've just been, the kids really like those and they're easy, fast lunches. So I grabbed some of those. I grabbed some of this coleslaw. It's super cheap at Sam's Club. I think it's a $1.67 or $1.97, something like that. But we're going to make some egg roll bowls because I found some ground pork out in the freezer and I think that would just be really good. So we're going to do that and have that over rice one night. We got some sour cream. That'll go on our quesadillas and chicken tortilla soup and chili. Audrey likes it on her chili because she thinks chili's spicy. So when she says something spicy, I just give her a little sour cream and it helps her eat it anyway. <laughs> we got these little Bunny Love carrots. We like to snack on these, but also I cut them up and they'll go in fried rice and shepherd's pie and so soups and salads and all kinds of things so we'll definitely be using those and these are our favorite because they're like tiny little mini ones little little teeny tiny ones they're really good we grabbed some cuties just to snack on we grabbed some grapes just to snack on we haven't had grapes in a really really long time so i think we're all looking forward to it and we're all really hoping that these taste good um, the last batch we got were just not good. So it's been a good three or four months since we've had grapes. So we like to have grapes or some sort of fruit with our breakfast. I got some more mushrooms. These usually last me a week or two. They'll last at least two weeks in the fridge without drying up. I just take them out of this wrapper so they don't have a whole bunch of condensation on them and stick them in the bottom and they do pretty well. So I've got some mushrooms. I probably should have gotten two of these with how I like mushrooms, but we're gonna go with that. I grabbed some bananas to snack on and have for breakfast and to be able to freeze some for smoothies. We're gonna be making some jambalaya and some uh, chicken wings and just different things. And you can also freeze celery. Like you can't eat it like fresh anymore after you freeze it, but you can freeze it to cook with. My grandma's always done that and it, it still works out really good also grabbed some limes because that sounded really good to me for uh, like garnishing tacos or putting in chili and just chicken um, grilled chicken just like squirting over grilled chicken we're also gonna have some grilled fish this month a couple of times so I think that'll be really good for that we now this we'll have to go back for because we run through some salad <laughs> some lettuce uh, this is one of the things that we're going to start growing uh, because we do eat a ton of lettuce in the winter time and the and so in the fall and winter we we really like to eat lettuce so that's something that we're going to attempt to grow ourselves soon but we're going to have caesar salad twice we're going to have taco salad twice so we'll definitely have to have more salad uh, or more lettuce for those things but that's something that we enjoy having I got nine pounds of ground beef. I, I probably could have gotten some less because we are going to use our deer meat, but we wanted a backstock in our freezer, so we went ahead and grabbed those. 
these are our favorite egg rolls we don't eat a whole lot of processed things um, but this is something that we like to have at least once a month when we have Korean beef bowls or even when we have um, fried rice we like to add that with it because it's really good this is another emergency item we got these uh, to throw in the air fryer for when I'm gone and it'll be for like when I don't feel like lunch even though I have all my lunches planned this will be you know if I don't feel like what we've got planned we'll have something like this we also got these chicken breast tenderloins the pilgrims brand my dad used to get these and they're they're pretty good so I got some of those to have for one of our lunches we got some whole green beans to roast in the um, we'll just roast these up in the oven it has like four five bags five bags I already have I still have some broccoli out in the freezer so we're gonna have lots of side options but I just wanted another one with these to roast them and we grabbed some popcorn chicken because Jay saw this and wanted to try it in the air fryer. So I'm sure this will end up being one of our lunches with some french fries that we already have in the freezer. Did I tell y'all we're back in the egg business? So this did not come from the store. Our chickens have started laying eggs. This is like a week and a half's worth of eggs. I gotta figure out what to do with those. That's why I was gonna make up some breakfast burritos and egg cups so I can get some of these cooked and off of the... Off of the counter up here so I'm gonna have to do that very very soon all right so I'm gonna go on to what I have on the table so I bought these big breakfast burritos I will or big breakfast big flour tortillas for burritos breakfast burritos and lunch burritos I was gonna go ahead and prep those but Jay told me just to buy those so I didn't I had something in between but I'm still gonna prep some I got a pizza for dinner tonight because who wants to go shopping and then cook dinner who, who does that? Who goes gro grocery shopping and then still cooks dinner? I mean, I got home late. It's dark outside almost. Um, so yeah, we went ahead and got that. I found this spray olive oil. Let me know if you've used it before, but it was $3 for the members mark. There's two of them in there. But I got that for spraying my muffin cups when I do egg cups because I don't want them to stick and I don't want to have to like butter each one or you know put oil on each one we were completely out of Italian seasoning so I went ahead and got this one we got a big one I'm slowly uh, getting the bigger seasonings so I've got we got a whole bunch of burger buns because these freeze really well so I'll be freezing all of these because we're not having burgers this week but um, I'll just probably put them in an extra layer for protection there and I'll also be freezing some hot dog buns. We've got two chickens because Jay's going to smoke those. And then we'll have them for dinner one night. And we'll have nachos with them and some flatbreads. So that'll make many, many meals there. And we'll also take that out and put it in um, chicken and dumplings. And we'll freeze what's left over for another week. So uh, usually these last us quite a long time. We like to do this once a month where we just smoke two chickens at once and pull off all the meat. I've got uh, turkey lunch meat. These freeze really well. We usually freeze them in half packs and bring them out. Um, so we'll have a half pack a week. So this will last an entire month. The hot dogs are an emergency situation. We don't have hot dogs usually. So we'll just keep these in the freezer. I will repackage them into smaller portions like we eat them. Usually like six at a time. So I'll repackage those. These are for our once a month little uh, treat. So we'll have pigs in a blanket once a month. So I'll be repackaging these. Also, we got our usual four packs of Wright's brand bacon. We've got two loaves of Newman's Own. We've been using about half of a uh, half a loaf a week. So I think this will last us, but we're gonna repackage these a little bit and put them in the freezer also. And finally, I have this Italian ground sausage. There's two of them. So one of them, I will make a Zuppa Toscana soup and the other will just go in back stock. So I'll just have it in the freezer and figure out something to do with it maybe next month. But that's it for our Sam's Club grocery haul. It's our monthly haul and we ended up spending four hundred and nineteen dollars and thirty three cents so if you think about it that's not too bad it being a whole month's worth of food if we do we do we will have to go back and get like some chicken wings 
Um, chicken wings, a roast, steaks, because for Valentine's Day we decided we wanted to have steak. So we're gonna go back and get a few things. I estimate that that's gonna be about 80 to $100. But uh, keeping our grocery budget at 125 for a week per week for four people is something I've never been able to do before. So I'm hoping that I'm able to do this for saving up some cash so we can get started on the house and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly show you what we got at Harps uh, to kind of round it out. We ended up spending $82 at Harp. So right around what I said it was going to be. But we got these foil pie tins. I probably spent too much money on them. Um, but these will be for my quiche that I'm making. I'm going to make one to eat that night for dinner and then one for the next meal that we have and we'll put that in the freezer. We got some waffles because uh, these are a very, very fast breakfast that we have sometimes. Um, I plan to make my own and try freezing those, but we got these for this month so we can do that. Uh, we'll yeah. have them like once every two weeks for a breakfast. I got some mozzarella cheese for our homemade pizzas that we'll be having. I picked up some chicken wings to try out in the air fryer. I love chicken wings. Jay doesn't, so I'll make him something else that day. Um, but, yeah, me and Ollie definitely like chicken wings. Audrey's kind of okay with them. I got some beef smoked sausage so we can make jambalaya one night. Uh-oh, this got smushed. Some kids stepped on it. Now I gotta rewrap it. Um, I got a roast to throw in the Instant Pot. We got two of these Chobanis. We're going to try to put them in the freezer and see how they freeze. I've never tried to freeze Greek yogurt before. So we're gonna put it in the freezer and if it works out, then next time we go to Sam's, we're gonna get a box of the Chobani yogurt for breakfasts and snacks and stuff like that. And the kids wanted a special treat, so they got the little, it's the Chobanis with like the extra stuff in them. I think it's got uh, yellow cake crunch, custard clusters, custard clusters, that's weird, and chocolate chips. So this is the Boston cream pie one. I thought I got two of those for me. Yeah, we got three of these. We got two, uh, two sets of baby back ribs. Jay's gonna put these on the smoker at some point this month, but we wanted to go ahead and have them in the freezer, so we'll be able to just pull them out the night before, thaw them, and then stick them in the smoker. I forgot your name. And the kids saw these uh, little fried pies and wanted some. Speaking of fried pies, I think that when I make my uh, pie shells for my quiche, I'm gonna make a little bit extra and put some, try to make some fried pies in the air fryer. I think that would be really, really good. You can do hand pies too, it doesn't have to be sweet. I got some more barbecue sauce. We got just the stubs, because that's what Harps had. Um, Harps is like a small town. What are you doing, you weirdo? <laughs> Harps is a small town grocery store. They're uh, employee owned and operated, so we, we like going there. They have a really good meat selection, at least ours does. I also got some Rotel, um, in case we want to do something with that. Um, I usually have a can of it in the pantry and we used it on something. So I went ahead and got another one. And I got some green onions. This will be for our Korean beef bowls, our egg roll bowls, and uh, we'll see how long these last. But I went ahead and got some of those. But we will be having steak for our Valentine's dinner, but we'll get that a little bit closer, probably like the day of. Oh, we're having steak for Valentine's Day. Cats out of the bag. <laughs> so, uh, We'll get that on the day of, and Jay will I'm grill those stayed. for me. Yum. And what else were we gonna get? And the only the only other thing that we don't have pork, is a pork pork shoulder. Yeah, same thing. The only other thing we don't have is pork shoulder, which we will get later because they didn't have what we usually get at Harps. So we're just gonna keep an eye out on that. So we may have an extra. 30 40 dollars more but that's it that's our whole grocery haul i'm Ooh. really hoping that it lasts an entire month but we spent less than 500 dollars. so if it does last a month then that definitely brings our grocery budget way down and it'll probably keep us out of the stores which will stop all that impulse buying that we all do but anyway i just wanted to show you what we got at the grocery store for our family of four
Let me know if you shop monthly or if you would ever consider shopping monthly. What's holding you back from shopping monthly? I do wish I had a bit bigger refrigerator. I do have a small fridge because we used to be on solar and this was all we could run with our solar. So I do wish I had a little bit bigger refrigerator. I think that would help us stock up, stock up on some things a little bit more but overall i think that this is going to last us a month and we're going to be open but thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you get notified when i post videos just like this one i can't wait to chat with you in the comments and i'll see you in the next one bye